Uh, okay, so let's break it down. So first of all, sponsored brands, sponsored products, and then you you have the all the all those different programs, some of which are not reporting by SKU. You just have you yeah. have to include them in the calculation, except that you have to yeah. prorate or whatever the case may be sure. per per, uh, per SKU. But uh, again, this is not a SKU based calculation in the sense Correct. that this is about the customer, customer. base. So yeah. What you're looking at is what is your total ad spend. And and what you're going to do is you have to be tracking how many customers you had on the books at the beginning of the month and how many customers you have on the books at the end of the month. Whatever the difference is, those are the ones that are new customers you acquired by that spending. So you divide that total by the number of customers. That's your customer acquisition cost during that month. Right? Yes. That's so there's, there's certainly one way to do it. Or if you, again, if you're doing it via the API, you will know whether someone's new to brand when they place the order on yes. the third or whatever right. as well. Right. It's literally right. has, here's like a unique, uh, you know, ID or something for that individual. Have I seen this person before? The answer is no, they're going to be new to brand. Right. So yeah. you don't have to do that subtraction, but that's definitely just another way of doing no, I, it. You know, uh, right. I'm old school. I'd like to know the formula. <laughs> calculation and then i'll let somebody give it to me but i'll from time to time i'll go back and check fair so, enough that's uh so, so it's always a good way to test uh you know if, if you're getting it yeah. so yeah for sure um okay now in that calculation of the total paid uh, uh, spend retargeting completely excluded just like refunds need to be excluded because yeah. they are your controllable inputs, so to speak, that yes. that you may not may not always be there. So, yeah. what is your bare advertising? Yeah, and, and the objective the objective is t- is totally different. You're not trying to get you're not trying to acquire a new customer. You're trying to get an existing customer to buy again, right? And so, it's not about customer acquisition cost. You can we can chat about if you want something like um, the cost of retention or you know some, something like that, right? Which ultimately well, I mean, this this thing is this so. I go to Amazon and I look at stuff and I don't buy it. Well, guess what? I'm seeing that item. I haven't yet bought. So, but that's retargeting, no? So it's bringing me back. Yes. So, so I guess there's there. just a, there's a clarification of what I guess maybe we're talking past each other a little bit. So you've got different options when you want to do remarketing or retargeting. Like there's definitely an option to say, go target people who, have looked at my product and haven't bought it or added to cart, but didn't buy it. Right. So try, try just get them to buy that. That should be obviously counted towards new to brand, right? right? Because it's a different, I'm talking about remarketing in the sense of someone has bought and I want to go okay. get so, them to buy again. Okay. <laughs> you know, the devil is on the details. Yeah. And that's, that's a good point. It's a good distinction to make. Absolutely. Yeah.